Hi, my name is Alicia and welcome to Mess to Masterpiece. Today's topic comes from Philippians chapter 1 and it's the, the verse surrounding the idea to live as Christ, to die as gain. I was first taught about this passage years ago, and I remember vaguely, although in my recent days, um, I have, my health has been, continued to go south, and um, I recently was put in hospice, and um, my body, it just, in a natural sense, continues to decline, although this verse came to mind, um, and it has become one of my foundations, my cornerstones, as I press forward here on this earth, as well as wait in expectancy to the day that Christ takes me home, whether that's sooner or later. And so I really wanted to share with you um, what God has been speaking of me. And so I was excited. You can see I'm on oxygen now, and it's annoying, kind of, but it's at least I'm able to make videos and to share with you. So I'm going to hop into uh, Philippians chapter 1, starting in verse 20. It says, I eagerly expect and hope that I will no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is b better by far, but it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. Wow, so this scripture really rocked my world because honestly, in the past week or so, I have had days where I have just begged the Lord to take me home um, because of the extreme pain I'm experiencing, as well as um, having difficulty breathing before I got the oxygen, it felt like I was drowning. And so there was many days that I was just like, God, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I need you to take me home. Um, but I continue just to try to align my heart with his and just pray his will be done, but also allowing to say, Lord, I, if I'm going to live, I want to live for you. And I think that we shouldn't wait for to be in hospice like me or to be on a give it a death sentence or a diagnosis to start living our lives that way. If we live, we need to be living for Christ no matter what. And so this even though it's it's more appealing, it's exciting, and there's so much that anticipation and building, and as we wait to go meet Jesus, we can also make the most of the time we have here and now, and knowing that not only are we living, but with Christ, we can do anything, and He is going to give us the strength that we need, and trust me, I have, I can attest in a personal way, I have had no strength, I can't, I'm bedridden, can't do literally like anything for myself. I have to have somebody change me, dress me, bathe me, everything. So I get it. I really do. But still, no matter how old you are or your circumstances or anything, God can use you. And so I just pray over you um, that you would continue to allow your heart and your mind to be open to what God wants to do. And that if you're living, that you may live for Christ. And to know that you don't have to have any fear of death because death is gain. And the eternity waiting for us is going to be amazing. Um, and this also connects with this song. It's called Let It Be by Christy Knuckles. I'm going to read the lyrics and then I'm going to attach a link as well. It says, Let it be Jesus, the first name that I call. Let it be Jesus, my song inside the storm. I'll never need another. For, to, for me to live is Christ. For me to live is Christ. God, I breathe your name above everything. Let it be. Let it be Jesus. Let it be. Let it be Jesus. So it continues on in, in just the no matter what that we go through in our life, that we can, the first name that we call can be Jesus. And we can know no matter what, we have victory in him. Whether we live or we die, it's for Christ. It, it's, and so we, and it, we can think of eternal purposes as well. So I hope that helps. And as always, feel free to message or um, email me or comment below if you have any questions. I love you guys.